then after work, I walk over to the aftercare center. I like walking, and that's what we do. Walk, 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 walk. Dang it, I just want to see that dog, man. What dog? I want the dog that runs up and barks. Oh, yes, I, like hey, I have my opinions. Yes, you do. We all do. Yeah. Richmond wants to go to Harvard. And you know, Harvard can be expensive. He said, well, if I don't go to Harvard, I'll go to Yale. So that's my 10 year old. Oh, 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 kiddo. Come on, guys. Oh, kiddo. Why don't you have shoes on your feet? She is in um, VA housing, so that's a, that's pretty much as long as she qualifies income-wise and everything, she'll keep that housing. She's been there since the beginning of this year. Your homework. I have been traveling for years. I would move and say, okay, I'm here and I'd be happy for a minute, and then I would be miserable. I would not be me. but. I blamed it on the place. It never occurred to me, maybe it's not where you're at. Maybe it's you. This is 22 plus years ago, so don't laugh. I mean, that was one of the best periods of time in my life. Other than, say, the birth of my children, I, I had a friend that from the Marine Corps that told me about Austin and she knew that I was suffering from the depression and just coming to terms with it. And she said, I'll bring you out here and uh, try to help you out, but it didn't work. And when I had nowhere to go, I called 211. Don't you think it's harder to add eight? My son said, my oldest son said, I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. I want to go. And I let him go to California, one of the hardest things in my life to do, um, to stay with my sister and go to school. One thing about being homeless is I've learned to know my son and I've learned to deal with him in a better way. Before it was, I was all closed off and I couldn't do feelings because they affected him. I had to make a change. I had to take my medicine. I had to see doctors to talk about it. I had to acknowledge that it doesn't affect just me. I thought it was only me. It was affecting my kids, so. So to be honest, we've never finished a school year at the same school. So that hurts like hell. It really does. So them being stable and being comfortable and knowing that I'm okay, so they're okay, that's the most important thing for me. Ooh, that's a good deal. You know, when you think of homelessness, people have a view in their head. And she's not someone you would see and think, oh, she, she was homeless at some point and without. She, she's you, she's me, she's, she's so many people I know. Dang it, even if we had enough money to take care home of like, Home full. I don't, <laughs> I don't I, it's not homeless, it's home full. We, we have a place, we're fitting in with our surroundings. Am I homeless? Nah, far from it. Will I ever be homeless again? I know too much. You know, I just want people to know that homelessness is, it's not a joke and it can happen to you in a heartbeat.